Welcome back to the Warbird Mistress. Today is Saturday, 20 December 1941, and this is A Walk Through the War. Beginning in the zone of the interior of the 4th Air Force, the 95th Bombardment Squadron Medium, 17th Bombardment Group Medium, joins other squadrons' anti-submarine patrols at Pendleton Army Air Base, Oregon, with B-25 Mitchells. Turning to the Central Pacific Theater of Operations, the Hawaiian Air Force, the 26th Bombardment Squadron Heavy, 11th Bombardment Group Heavy, transfers from Hickam Field at the entrance to Pearl Harbor to Wheeler Field, 10 miles inland on Oahu. Their B-17s and B-18s begin months of maritime patrol missions in search of Japanese warships, subs, and any sign of a much-feared second strike. In addition to the Navy and Marine Corps' coastal and maritime assets, the Army's patrol coverage now includes the majority of the Eastern Pacific, albeit with few aircraft for such a grandiose task. Moving on to the Southwest Pacific Theater of Operations with the Far East Air Force in the Philippines, the air echelon of the 30th Bombardment Squadron Heavy, 19th Bombardment Group Heavy, transfers from Clark Field, Luzon, to Bachelor Field near Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia, with B-17s, joining other squadrons already evacuated there. Their ground echelon, like others, is reassigned to the 5th Interceptor Command Provisional, and will fight his infantry in the Philippines as the sanguine Hinomaru rises over the American Commonwealth. That was Saturday, the 20th of December, 1941. As always, this is Claire, and I am the Warbird Mistress. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the playlist if you've missed any episodes and for future episodes as we go on a walk through the war. Take care.